Hi children. My little ones. I think you have read the story the goose and the golden egg thrice, right? And you understood the story very well. Now, we are going to do the worksheet same 83 and 84 but in a different video, video number 57. And in this, we are going to do the exercises that are there for us. So, we have some meanings, some question answers and to write few sentences about the picture. Please take out this worksheet and then put your pointing finger where it is given meanings. We are going to learn the meanings now. So, you have to learn all these with the spellings. You are going to be tested for this lesson. So, the first one wants more and more. Wants more and more. So, you want more and more, more and more. I want that. I want this. So, that is called greedy. Want more and more. Greedy. Please repeat after me. Wants more and more. Greedy. Wants more and more. Greedy. Right. Wants more and more. Greedy. Good. Let's go to the second one. Man who lives in a village. Man who lives in a village. Country man. Man who lives in a village. Country man. A person who lives in a village is called as country man. A person who lives. Uh, it could be a man. Then country women. If it is a lady, we call country women. Woman, sorry. Country woman. So, it's a man. We say country man. The people who are living in the village areas. Now, children. So, can you repeat after me? A man who lives in a village. Country man. A man who lives in a village. Country man. Right. A man who lives in a village. Country man. Right. Now, my little ones, hold your pencils tight. Let's move on to the question and answers. I know you all read the story very well. I want answers from you. The first question. What did the goose lay every day? Can any one of you answer it? I repeat the question. What did the goose lay every day? Yes, that's the right answer. The goose laid a golden egg every day. So, let's write the answer. Take your pencils. Go to question number 1. And underneath that you have answer. Four lines are given for you to write the answer. In that you start writing. What is the answer you write? The goose laid the goose laid a So, just let's repeat the question and answer. What did the goose lay every day? The goose laid a golden egg every day. Let's repeat. What did the goose lay every day? The goose laid a golden egg every day. Right. Let's move on to the second question. Describe the golden egg. Can any one of you describe the golden egg? Describe means tell about the golden egg, how it was. Can anybody try? Yes, that's a good answer. The it was a beautiful shining egg. So, let's write it. It was 
was a beautiful Shining egg. Shall we repeat? Describe the golden egg. It was a beautiful shining egg. Describe the golden egg. It was a beautiful shining egg. And then children. Next we have question number 3. Why did they kill the goose? Why did they kill the goose? Can anyone of you answer? Greedy, right? Can you put it in a complete sentence? Yes, that's the correct answer. Why did they kill the goose? They killed to get all golden eggs at once. Right, let's write it down. They killed to get all The golden eggs at once. Let's read it. Why did they kill the goose? They killed to get all the golden eggs at once. Why did they kill the goose? They killed to get all the golden eggs at once. Okay children, now let's see. When you turn your page, you have opposites. Opposites are three. You have rich, poor, rich, poor. Rich, poor. Then find, lost. Find, lost. Find, lost. Dead, alive. Dead, alive. Dead, alive. What are the opposites? You might have learnt NKG. Like uh, some more examples like tall, short. Tall, short. Fat, thin. Fat, thin. Right? Then we have far, close. Far, close. Right? Right, left. Right, left. Up, down. Up, down. These are the opposites, right? So yes. Now I want you to by heart all these three opposites which are from the story. Now, you have a next 84 worksheet. You have a picture. The countryman is very happy with the golden egg and the goose. You need to color this picture beautifully and write sentences, two sentences about it in the four lines which are provided for you. So, let's write two sentences now. Hold your pencils tight. You can see in the picture, the man is very happy and he is having a golden egg. Goose is beside him. He is dancing. The next, he is wearing pant and shirt. Then, he is having a cap on his finger, pointing finger. He has shoes. So many sentences you are able to frame by seeing at the picture. Don't imagine the sentences which are in the story. 
look at the picture and write means you must write only about this picture okay whatever you see in the picture you need to write in the sentences so let's get started to write in your worksheet the first sentence you can write the country man is happy right let's start the country man is very happy this is one sentence and next what you can have can you tell me yes he has a golden egg he has a golden egg in his hand he has a golden egg in his hand my little ones if you wish to write a sentence more we have provided a line you can add one more sentence if you wish to so now for that reason i'll give you one more extra sentences based on the story he is dancing right we have written is happy we can write he is dancing children i want to mention a few things here when you take the first line you have the country man is very happy next line we are not writing again country man we are writing he because he is a boy or a male we are writing he in the third line also we are not writing he country man again sorry country man again we are writing he only in the first line we are writing country man coming to the second third and as you go on you must write he 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 you will not write the country man has a golden egg in his hand the country man is dancing the country man is this you no need to write country man again and again all these you will learn in pronouns when it comes there we will be teaching you for now you need to only remember is the name comes in the first line the second line if it is a boy or a male you will write he if it is a girl you will write she that's it okay the remaining part you will learn in pronouns now my little ones you have heard the story we read the story and we learned the meanings we wrote the question and answers and we also did sentences based on the picture so that's it for today about the goose that laid golden eggs my little ones please read the lesson again and again to improve your reading and one more thing it is written learn with spellings in the bracket right so you are going to learn everything by heart with understanding the meaning because you'll be getting ready for the test right okay children that's it for today have a great time